Hello world, Cody here from Relic Sins and today I will show you our newest addition to the Black Module line, the Black Dual VCF. It's a dual multimode filter with silent simultaneous outputs and CV control over cutoff and resonance on both channels. Controls can also be linked for stereo applications and also both VCFs can be chained in series or parallel modes for advanced patches. And in case if dual VCF is too big for your rack but you still want the sound, there is a smaller brother available, the Black Multimode VCF. It is exactly the same circuit as one side of the dual VCF. Now while sending in a square wave from the black VCO, I will run over all the features of the module. With the cutoff knob, you can control the cutoff frequency for each side of the filter. With the resonance knob, you can control the amount of resonance for each side of the filter. After 3 o'clock, the filter starts to self-oscillate and can be also used for sound generation. Now I remove the input, so you can hear that self-oscillation produces nice and clean sine wave. When the link switch is set to right position, you can control both VCF with the left VCF controls. This is very useful in stereo applications. We will take a closer look to this feature later. With the mode switch, you can select which filter is assigned to the sum output, and we will also take a closer look to this feature later in this video. With attenuators, you can set the desired modulation amount. Also, take note that they are attenuators, not just attenuators, so you can invert the incoming modulation signal. And now let's check this out with an LFO coming from the Black Octa source. Also a neat feature is that the left channel CV inputs are normally to the right channel CV inputs, so you can modulate both sides of the dual VCF with just one CV input. And now let's add the second modulation signal to the resonance. With the input knob, you can set the input level. Same as for the CV inputs, the left input is also normal to the right input. In outputs, you get all the filter outputs at the same time. High pass, band pass and low pass. Even when you route different filters to the sum output, the static outputs are still available. This allows to create very interesting and complex patches. In some output, you get the left and right side of the filter summed together, either in serial mode or parallel mode. In serial mode, left side runs through the right side and then goes to the sum output, but in parallel mode, both sides are independent, but are mixed together before the sum output. And we'll take a closer look to this later too. Spectrum Analyzer visually shows the sum output in frequency range from 1 kHz to 16 kHz.
One of ways how you can use Dual VCF is to use two different sound sources and put each of them through a different side of the filter and then for example take the sum output to the effects processor. I have now patched in the black VCO to the left side and taken the low pass out to the mixer and wavetable VCO to the right side and taken low pass output to the same mixer. So what we got now is two simple low pass filters, nothing too exciting. But now I will add modulation from the black octa source to the left channel's cut off CV input and will invert it on the right side. And to make this even more interesting, I will send the band pass output of the left side and high pass output from the right side to the summing output and then send it to the black hole DSP in fully wet mode. So this will almost work like an effect send down. What we got now is all the a lot of sound moving just by using the simple dual mode. To use Dual VCF as a stereo filter, make sure the sum out switch is set to parallel mode and then send the left output of your stereo signal to the left side of the Dual VCF and right output to the right side of the Dual VCF. And after that, if you want to use the Dual VCF as a stereo low pass filter, take the corresponding outputs from each side and patch it into the stereo mixer. I will do that now with the Black Hole DSP in stereo delay mode fed with a hi-hat sample from the Pico drums to show it to you. Now you can control filtering of each side separately. If you want to control both sides at the same time, just engage the link switch and now you can control both sides of the filter with the left side knobs of the dual VCF. Cascaded CV inputs comes in handy to create interesting stereo modulation effects. I will patch in LFO from the black ox source on the left side cut of control CV input and set the attenuator to fully clockwise position on the left side and fully counterclockwise on the right side to make the CV signal inverted on the right side. As you can audio here, this creates a very interesting moving effect.
And if you want to use dual VCA for example as a high pass stereo filter, just patch the outputs to the high pass out. Take note that all outputs are present all the time, so you can create really interesting and advanced patches with the dual VCA. To use dual VCF as a series filter, where one signal is split through two stages of filtering, set the sum out switch to series position. Now you will have your input sent first through the left side and then through the right side of the filter of the dual VCF. Take note that in this mode the second input doesn't work, but all the outputs are still present. To take out the dual filtered signal, patch your output into the sum output. And now let's hear how it sounds. To use dual VCF in parallel mode, set the sum out switch to parallel setting. In this mode, if you are using single input, it's being sent to both sides of the filter independently. I will use black digital noise and put it into the input 1 and it will be normalized to input 2 and both filtered signals will be summed before the sum out. Not like in the series mode where left side is being sent through the right side and then sent to sum out. Also in the parallel mode, the dual VCF can be used as dual peak filter or notch filter when the left side is set to low pass and the right side is set to high pass filter setting, as I will do it now. And to make it work as a dual peak filter, just set the both sides to the same setting, like I will do it now with the low pass setting. And now let's turn it back into the notch filter. Same as for the all other modes, you can really take advantage of the cascaded CV inputs and attenuators to create interesting modulation effects.
another interesting way how to use the dual VCF is as a sound source. For example, you can set the left side in self oscillation by cranking up the resonance and filter it with the right side when the sum output is set to the series mode. Cross patching is also an interesting way to work, so you can, for example, use the right side bandpass output to modulate the left side's cutoff. I will use all of that now to create a bass drum with the help of an ADSR envelope controlling the cutoff on the left side. For this patch, I'm using the dual VCF as a dual filter, where I send the black Warshape VCO to the left side and black VCO to the right side, and after that I use the quad VCA for each side and morph through the static outputs of the filter, with the help of the black octosource. And to spice everything up, I'm sending the sum output to the black hole DSP. Enjoy! Mm -hmm. 